Today is March 27, and I'm Raul. I'm Niels. I'm Julia. Associated Press has reported that the toxicology report on the death of Prince reveals high levels of fentanyl and an opioid. Prince died a little less than two years ago. Experts who examined the report say that there is little doubt that the fentanyl was responsible for his death. High levels of the drug were detected in his blood, liver, and stomach. Dr. Lewis Nelson, chairman of the emergency medicine at Rutgers New Jersey Medical School, called the fentanyl concentrations a pretty clear smoking gun. Residents in Los Angeles were told to stay inside on Monday as a mountain lion roamed the area. De Deborah Moore was one of the first people to see it. She said she was walking home from her neighbors when she spotted it in her front yard. We just had a kind of staring contest and I didn't want to take it off and have it chase me for or something, Moore said. The mountain, the mountain lion was the size of a small horse. The animal hopped the fence and moved to another backyard where it was tranquilized by a warden with a de by the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Authorized, authorities carried it to a truck so it could be looked at before being released back into the wild. Different dis districts in Düsseldorf are doing a traditional Easter fire called Osterfeuer on the 31st of March. Osterfeuer is a symbol of light in the darkness. In Germany, Easter fires are lit out around sunset on Holy Saturday and are kept burning through the night into the early hours of the morning. The fires are made using old wooden pallets. The Easter fire starts as a, started as a church tradition, but now everyone celebrates it and they tend to be a social event. Friends get together and celebrate with food and drink. Now let's watch a video about recycling. There's not really a definite number at recycling facilities. They can have as little as you know, three or four percent contamination or as much as 20 percent. Um, either way, we want to try to minimize it as much as possible and I think under 10 percent would be a good goal. For organics, there has to be less than 10 percent contamination, otherwise the compost site um, doesn't accept it. Make sure the organics is clean so the compost they're making um, that's going back into gardens is also you know, good quality. In participating in the second annual Iron Woman Volleyball Tournament, the competition will take place on April 10th at 7 p.m. Teams will be open to juniors and seniors are there still availability. Teams can consist of both boys and girls and even as a fundraiser for fun and need. Email student council to sign up. Seniors and teachers, remember to vote for your favorite senior speech at wazeta.k12.mn.us slash whs slash graduation. Juniors and seniors, consider signing up to be an academic mentor during term four or next year. Contact Mr. Shepard or Mrs. Hawk for more information. Hey, Louis, how is the weather today? Good morning, Wazeta. Today we will wall kick, which means cloudy and it's currently one degree Celsius. There will be light winds coming in through the east and we will have a high of five degrees Celsius. We will be expecting some heavy rain and flash floods in the Midwest in the upcoming weeks. Today in Düsseldorf, Deutschland, my hometown, it is currently 11 degrees and regnerisch, which means rainy. If you are going to Germany today, don't forget your Regenschirm, which means umbrella. Now let's watch a video about procrastination. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how not to procrastinate. Let's say you're sitting in class. Your teacher informs you that there's a test next week, a project due in three days, and notes due tomorrow. So you decide to yourself that you'll get started right when you get home. But human nature takes over and you end up distracted all night instead. This is called procrastination. The action of delaying or postponing something. Here are a few tips on how to successfully prevent procrastination. The first thing is to prioritize. Make a to-do list and include the most important items first. Next, break your work up into sections. Work for 30 minutes, then take a 10 minute break. Repeat until you're finished. Eliminate, hide, or shut down distractions. If you find yourself constantly distracted by the same object, ask someone to hide it or hold on to it until you're finished. 
And lastly, find ways to motivate yourself, whether it be a reward at the end or just knowing you got everything done. Motivation is the key to not procrastinating. Now you have the tips and tools on how not to procrastinate. So Lily, what's going on in sports today? Good morning, Trojans. The Timberwolves lost last night to the Memphis Grizzly 101-93. Mark Gassel had 20 points and Wayne Sheldon Jr. had 23 points for the Grizzlies. Jeff Teague was the leading scorer for the Timberwolves with 25 points. The loss puts even more pressure on the Wolves to maintain their spot in the playoffs. The Wild will travel to Nashville tonight to take on the Predators starting at 7 p.m. The Predators have been one of the premier teams in the NHL this season with a record of 48 to 16. It will be a tough one for the Wild. Usain Bolt recently traveled to Dortmund, Germany for a test training at a soccer training facility with stars such as Mario Götze and Marco Reus. Despite being retired from sprinting due to injury at the age of 31, Bolt is determined to try something new. It turns out that Bolt is a pretty good scorer as he scored a goal with his head during a scrimmage with the team. The German soccer club Fortuna Düsseldorf is currently placed in the first position in the second Bundesliga league. It is pretty likely that they will rise to the first league, which is one of the best leagues in Europe. Wir wünschen ihnen viel Glück. That's all I have for sports. Now back to the anchors. The Trojan Tribune is looking for students to participate in roundtable discussions on religion. There will be roundtables held on Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, Mormonism and Atheism. Roundtables will be held on Wednesday, April 11th. Contact the Trojan Tribune at trojantribune at yz.schools.org for more info if you are interested in participating. Spring sports registration is now open. Go to ePay to sign up. The last day to register is the first day of the sport. I'm behalf of the German exchange program. I'm Niels. I'm Will. And I'm Lily. Auf Wiedersehen, Weisetta. Thank you.